How's it going players? Ed Clark back with another video. Now if you watched my last video, you'll remember that I did this sort of one two one two betting system, which is where we're looking for a two win streak uh, and we was using the area key. Now as always, if I try a strategy, I like to try it again just to see if it was a fluke or if uh, we can use this strategy to win at roulette consistently. So that's what this video is. We're trying the same technique again and we are just going to see how that goes. Now, if you're not currently a member of Roulette Calculators, pause the video, click the link in the description and set yourself up a free account so you can see what it's all about. And it's a free social network so you can chat to myself and all of the other professional roulette players on there. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're constantly adding new roulette strategies, betting systems and tutorials. Also hit the bell notification icon. That's going to give you an update every time I post a video. Now, please like the video as well. You know, if you enjoy the content we're chucking out there, give it a thumbs up. If you give it a thumbs down, let us know why. Drop your, drop your comment below and let us know what you didn't like about it. Don't just hide behind a dislike and uh, share the video. Share it if you think this will help anyone else that likes to play roulette. So we're going to get straight on with the session. Now, um, you can see here I'm uh, carrying on from uh, where I left off yesterday, 285. Um, I forgot I recorded this, but uh, I'm just doing a, a quick withdrawal um, just so I can drop my balance down to a hundred pound, uh, which is a, a fairly good starting point for most for most um, strategies. You know, you can use a uh, less. I mean, you've seen me. I took twenty pound up to three hundred and odd uh, using a low stake um, strategy, and a lot of people have used that and done really well from it. So you can see there the magic power of Christ compels you 285 down to 100. <laughs> so we're heading to the live casino and uh, we're going to, uh, we, I, I decided to go to 888 live roulette because it's a single direction table and I thought I'd give the area key a try on this just to see what happens. So I'm going to skip through a little bit just so uh, we can log a couple of spins there. And uh, there we go, we've got a couple of spins. He's currently on a depth of two, so I was like, uh, and then it came in, sorry. Uh, I was logging the last few spins. So I ended up uh, entering a bunch of data in, and I believe I didn't like what I saw. Uh, and So I'm gonna carry on logging the thing just to explain to you what I didn't like about it, apart from a whole bunch of reds in a row. If you look at the uh, window over there, it says red, 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 red ram, red ram. So here we go. Uh, obviously, we minus one off of the first number, so that's a depth of one zero one, which isn't too bad if you're doing any sort of progression. It's not too bad. Now, the the thing I didn't like about this particular dealer, and I will point that out in a moment, is he completely changes how he releases the ball. Now, I've explained this quite a few times in a few of my other videos. These tools are measuring where the dealer spins the ball from to where the ball lands. It's giving you that information. That's all good, and you know it's all good and well to, to watch that. But if the dealer isn't consistently spinning the ball from the correct area, then the results are void. So not only do you check out the calculators, you really have to watch the dealer and exactly what they are doing. So uh, just watch uh, watch how he spins the ball. He picks the ball up and he just holds on to it for ages. So I'm like, you know what? Sod that. Don't like this dealer. Uh, he was uh, being a bit inconsistent as well. He's currently on a depth of two. So I thought, you know, there's, it's not worth risking it. And that's part of using this strategy. You really do want to um, analyze the dealer as well as the results that you're getting. So please keep that in mind when using these tools. You really do need to track the dealer as well. Okay, so all I'm doing is entering in this uh, particular dealer's current spins. You can see there it's currently on a depth of two, now a depth of three, now a depth of four. So I'm getting excited. I'm like, this dealer's looking good. Depth of five. So I'm like, okay, brilliant, keep going. Depth of six, love it. So this is, uh, for me, I'm like, yes, we've got a dealer that has been really, really consistent. She's hitting that unhighlighted section over and over and over again. That's what you want to find. Now, of course, I entered in a number and it looks like it switched. So she's just hitting the unhigh uh, sorry, the highlighted section now. So let's just pause that. We've got a depth of six there. And now you can see, obviously, that the last one, 
would have been the highlighted section for it to bring that depth of 6 into the graph here. Then the next one was a 0, which means it landed on the highlighted. And then the next one was a highlighted. So instead of just betting on the uh, unhighlighted, I'm watching the dealer for a few spins to see what's happening. Now let me explain what can cause the sudden change. There's a couple of factors. One could be there was a dealer change. And while I've been logging them numbers that are over there, there might have been a dealer change and it's a different pattern. So it is dangerous doing what I do. I usually jump on the table and just log the numbers I can see over there and hope that the dealer was still on. So that could be one of the factors. There could have been a dealer change. The other factor is she might have suddenly, this is a single direction table. So she's spinning the ball in the same direction. She might have speeded up the wheel. So she might have been spinning it at a certain pace and then all of a sudden it's just changed it and she's staying in that particular pattern. So there's a couple of things, also the, the speed that she's spinning the ball. So when you see something like that, just, you know, if you just see a sudden change, watch it for a few spins just to kind of get a grasp and know, is this dealer being consistent or uh, has it just changed? Okay. So we had a lovely depth of six to start with and now she just seems to be hitting that highlighted section which is keeping that depth at zero so you can see there six zero 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 so i'm like okay well, this is looking good she's hitting that highlighted section consistently so i start thinking you know what it's worth it's worth giving this dealer a try but uh, i believe i want to watch one more spin just to see if she hits that highlighted section again before i part with my money now i always like to uh really be cautious and this is why uh, uh, again I want to uh, get that out there as well because uh, a lot of people will just see how high they can build their balance and while that's good and I've done that in the past you've seen a few of my videos where I've taken I think £100 up to 800 and odd uh, and then I decided to do a, a big withdrawal now you you'll probably see in that video series that I did when I first started especially when I started with £20 really cautious I'm really really cautious and uh, that's how I can progress and uh, not take too many risks. If I let my balance just build and build and build, I get careless and I'm like, it's okay, I'm invincible. I've got loads of money in the account. So, uh, so I do like to try and withdraw money every now and then. And uh, it's good, uh, you know, I, I think I might start just withdrawing straight down to £100 and using that as my starting balance. And of course, one day I'm gonna lose that £100, but if I've withdrawn several times, £100, then I'm quids in. So that went to 27, so you can see there perfectly Un uh, in the highlighted section again. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna bet on the highlighted section with this dealer. I'm doing one pound. Uh, I realized I had the number set to eight because I was using the dealer tracker, uh, the neighbors thing. So I've changed that to nine. And I've done one pound, putting the neighbor bet straight on number 27 there, which covers all of those highlighted numbers. So you can see there, we've got a block of four in a row that has gone to that highlighted section. And you can see that went, that went to number 24, which was lucky, it was right on the edge of that highlighted section. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I got the first win. Now, if you remember my last video, I do the reverse Martingale. So nothing's changed. I'm doing the same strategy because I like to test it over and over just to make sure that the strategy does hold well for the majority of the time. Of course, it's not gonna work every single go. So instead of doing one pound per number, I've upped it to two pound per number, and I'm hoping to hit that highlighted section yet again. And that's my plan. I want to get two winning streaks. So uh, I need to do a bet and then win that, win the next bet, and then do the same. So I wanna get two winning streaks back to back, and that will give me a hundred pound. Now you can see here, it went to 27. Again, that's right on the edge. I got the win, I was lucky. My balance is now 151 pounds. But because it hit right on the edge both times, I point out there, 15, 24, that was where they hit last time. It was borderline, it was very lucky. Uh, I've got a nice big string of zeros. Now, I know a lot of people would just carry on on that highlighted section, but I'm like, I wanna watch another spin or at least one or two spins just to see if she's gonna carry on with that because they were right on the edge and I wasn't that trusting. <laughs> so as you can see here, it went to number nine, which was the unhighlighted section. So I did the right thing by not betting. Okay, so you can see now it's currently at depth of one. 
So I'm starting to think, is she reverted, you know, is she reverted back and is she going to carry on with that opposite, the reverse area key where she's hitting this unhighlighted section consistently like she did before. So instead of just going for it, I'm going to watch again and is it going to land on the unhighlighted section or the highlighted section? So remember, you don't have to bet every spin and it's smack bang in the middle of that unhighlighted section. So I'm like, okay, she's now at a depth of two. So I'm like, I'm going to bet on the unhighlighted section now because it looks like she's changed it. And bear in mind, the actual, the, the way the ball landed, it wasn't, it wasn't like an unlucky one that kind of bounced back or anything. It just genuinely landed right in the middle of the unhighlighted on both of those spins. So I'm like, you know what? I mean, if you look at that table and you go, oh, he's betting on the unhighlighted, you probably think I'm crazy. But if you observe the table and actually watch what's happening and what the dealer's doing, you do get a lot of information. So it's currently at a depth of two, so that was good enough for me. And uh, I was watching the, the way the ball was landing. And again, this landed on 31, so right smack bang in the middle of that unhighlighted section. Gave me my win. So I've had three wins in a row, zero losses. Unfortunately, it was a dealer change. So I was going to do the reverse um, and double that bet. However, the dealers changed. So I cut the session short. I made 68 pound profit. I've just withdrawn 185. I'd say that's a good day. So uh, that's what I did. I left the uh, session there. I clicked on the name tag to try and find the uh, dealer's name. But on this particular um, session, 777, it doesn't have the um, dealer's name on there so I couldn't share that with the community but you've got the video there so you can have a look and you can see if you can recognize her now the table was 777 roulette and that was on 888 casino so I really hope you enjoyed this video I hope that gave you a lot of insight into how I play and how I analyze the table now of course it doesn't always work but the idea is to win the majority of the time and as I always keep stressing these are just tools. They're showing you, 100% showing you what the dealer is doing, what the table history is. In no way am I guaranteeing by using these tools you'll win, but you're welcome to try them. And if you if you don't want to, you can just check out this social network. It's well worth free. <laughs> you know, it's absolutely free to join and you can get a lot of good tips and insight from that. So again, please, if, you, if you're not a member, join us. You know, it's, it's free to join us. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel and like the video. If you think this video has added any content, even if you're not using these tools, uh, just give the video a like, drop your comments and share. So take care, guys, and uh, I will speak to you next time. Bet smart.